here with Skidididach from the Blidididach, aka Scotch Davis, aka Potsy of the MBB MOM family, official Harlem representative, and coast to coaster. I am from New York City. A uh, major in Harlem and a minor in everywhere else in the city. I grew up on the whole island, everywhere from the Lower East Side to Dykeman, 200 Street, Harlem, 136, 7th and Lenox. Right now we're working on Scotch Tape. Uh, it's actually the second installment of Scotch Tape. The first one, most of you probably might have recognized, heard, and didn't know it was me. Um, but uh, Scotch Tape 2, are you hearing me clearly? It's getting ready to drop. I would like to think that I come from um, musical royalty, so to speak. My father, Vincent Henry, uh, being a very prominent, I would, I would say jazz musician, but he's so he's uh, he's mean. He means a lot more to music, to me, and to a lot of other people. Um, then my mother, she's a uh, probably one of the original female party promoters in the city, and. Uh, especially black female party promoters at the time. She, you know, she's paved the way for a lot of artists, giving them an opportunity and a stage to perform on when you know, major venues didn't really want to give them a chance. And people were working on their craft because she created a venue and an atmosphere where you know, it was cool to be hip hop, it was cool to be R&B, it was cool to be yourself as an artist, but you kind of had like a safe haven and you, weren't gonna, you didn't have to worry about being ridiculed. You, know? you could really perfect your craft and take your time and, and, be, and be raised with love. To cultivate the character that Scotch Davis is, the music, the sound, the look, I was very hands-on and very proactive, you know. Um, I think the thing about my situation was that my father taught himself how to play damn near every instrument he played. My mother taught herself how to kind of create these atmospheres and these venues and these vibes for these artists. So all I knew was self-application and, and kind of self-teaching. But ultimately, the one thing that they always preached to me was that they saw my natural ability and they always wanted me to kind of be hands-on as opposed to waiting for somebody to do something for you. You know, when you already have the inkling of what you're pretty good at, all you have to do is just go ahead and get it. This is America. It's what it's about. You know? Seeing it, believing it, and then achieving it. Early on in my career, I was fortunate enough, I was able to kind of cultivate my live show uh, uh, a, a lot faster than I was my recorded, uh, how do you say, my recorded, my recording sensibilities. My live performance was always that much stronger because I grew up in a live community. With my father being in so many different bands and my mom having the live showcase, live always seemed to be, you know, what I gravitated towards. Dreams that I have for myself, they haven't got away. Things that I know with my heart that I just gotta say. Goals that have been set, every goal has been met. Now the goal is to kick a hole in the net. If we gotta take our stitch the hole in the net, it's a must before we live in with a hole in our neck. They want to mark us like candy. Be down like Randy. Scotch to the rescue. No need for Mandy. I don't need a baker. I just need a baker that I can need a baker. A sexy way of baker. We wake up in Jamaica. The sun sets from lunch. We go to breakfast. Make love eat too much. Listen, I want this to you chilling with your homie Scotch Davis. Check out Exhibit Me. Check out Welcome to Skiller. Check out the interview live here on Blow. Whoa.